30 years ago, technology was celebrated for its promise to enhance convenience and connectivity. Today, while it has undoubtedly delivered on those promises, it comes with a new set of challenges. Our daily activities are now significantly exposed to the pollution from tech gadgets, a stark contrast to the relative tech-free environment of the past. Hi, my name is Simon Lowe, and I'm here to talk about electromagnetic radiation, also known as EMR, and what exactly it does to our bodies. Our everyday devices, while making our life easier, bombard us with electromagnetic radiation, EMR, that could be harmful. Constant exposure to EMR emitted from our Wi-Fi routers to our wearable technologies raises concerns about the long-term safety and wellness. This constant barrage is a modern form of pollution, pervasive yet imperceptible, enveloping us without a visible trace. Additionally, the World Health Organization, as we know as WHO, has classified radio frequency electromagnetic fields as possibly carcinogenic to humans, indicating that EMR has the potential to cause cancer. Healthcare professionals like Dr. Sadinder have weighed in on the potential side effects of EMR, citing how children are particularly susceptible. The children's brain, like the hypothalamus, it tends to absorb 1.5 to 2 times more electromagnetic uh, fields than an adult. But if you look at the child's bone marrow, it absorbs amazing 10 times more electromagnetic radiation than an adult. The brain is much more absorbent, the skull is thinner, and because the relative size is smaller, if I give you the same dosage, your smaller tissue is going to absorb more than the bigger tissue. The first thing you have to do is keep the uh, appliance that's emitting the uh, radiation further apart from you, like handphones, off all power points when they're not in use. Number three, you could use electromagnetic field harmonizers, which will balance out the radiation side effects from the appliance. To that end, Dr. Sadvinder recommends making use of electromagnetic field harmonizers that counteracts the effects of EMR on the human body. On the other hand, Professor Emerita at Trent University in Canada, Dr. Magda Harvest, whose experience lies in the biological effects of electromagnetic radiation, has shown that EMR has a negative effect on the blood, the heart, the autonomic nervous system. This could possibly lead to symptoms like poor circulation, headache, fatigue, and even difficulty concentrating. Now that you have seen the true effects of EMR, you have a better understanding of how it can adversely affect your health. And let's take a closer look at how our bodies react to EMR. Our bodies are more vulnerable to the EMRs within the range of 30 to 300 megahertz as we absorb the radiation a lot more, very much like a sponge absorbs water. When our bodies absorb EMR, they resonate with our vital organs and natural frequencies. Now this could potentially lead to negative effects on our well-being. This underscores the significance of managing our exposure. America's Federal Communication Commission, the FCC, has established limits on acceptable levels of EMR exposure. This is to safeguard the public health. Despite this, many electronic devices operate near or at these exposure limits, raising concerns about the cumulative effects of daily exposures in our life. Even if you can't touch, see, or even smell it, you need to know that EMR is always around, making it a persistent problem. In the following demonstration, I'll show you what I mean. Now in front of me, I have the regular devices that I use every single day. Now with the help of a special tool, we're able to find out exactly how much radiation is coming out of these devices. Here I have with me a radiation detector, the RD9300. It is able to pick up the power density of the radiation. Now notice, anything above 200 is considered high levels of radiation. So let's turn it on. 
I'm going to put it next to the laptop and as you can see, the reading is well above 200. These are for your laptops. Now I'm going to come over here to the tablets, which I use every single day. And here we have with me my phone. Let's take a look. Now just imagine the harm you could be doing to your body when you pick up the phone and you start talking on the phone while it's next to your ears. Now, knowing all this, you should definitely consider reducing the usage, especially among children. But let's be real. In the world that we live in today, it is almost impossible to live without these devices. Now, those of you like me, who use wireless earpods regularly to speak on the phone or listen to music while you're having a job, you have to see this. Now, when I flip it open, it shows a reading on the detector. But the moment I put them on onto my ears, let's check it out. Take a look at that. The reading coming off while it's being connected to my ears and to my phone is significantly higher. All right, now I know that some of you have already decided to reduce the usage of these devices. But let me show you something. Now, in an environment like this, looking peaceful and balanced. However, there are actually still fundamental radiation that lurks around. Let me introduce my colleague, David. We're gonna be using another tool called the SDR app, which you can download on Android. Now, as you can see, even though I am not in contact with any of my devices, this tool and the antenna is able to pick up the fundamental radiation in this environment. As you can see from the chart, I have tuned the app to 72 megahertz, the operating frequency of our brain. And take a look at the level of radiation. Just imagine, your body right now is constantly bombarded by this white noise. Now, you understand why many people struggle to sleep well at night and having occasional headaches. Now, coming to the more exciting part, this is MGuard, right here. An environment harmonizer. I'm going to turn on the MGuard and let's find out what's going to happen. From the count of three, one, two, three. Take a look at that. Look at the screen now. The level of fundamental radiation has reduce drastically. Thank you so much, David. MGUARD offers an effective solution by suppressing external frequencies so that they do not disrupt our body's natural processes. The choice to protect yourself isn't just about preventing immediate threat. It's about investing in your future health and your loved ones. Now with MGUARD, you're taking a proactive step towards a healthier life in our technology-driven world. If you enjoyed this video and you genuinely feel there's a need to start protecting your loved ones from EMR, get back to the person that shared this video with you and visit our website at www.mguard.com. My name is Simon. Take care and stay healthy.